Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well today we're going to be using the fantastic Divi Supreme modules plugin again. We're going to create these little buttons here. The first one right here, you click on it, it'll bring up an email. You can email for more info about whatever the product is or whatever you're advertising. The second one here is going to bring up a video of the product or whatever video you want to bring up in a little light box. Really useful little features right there, really easy to do with the Supreme plugins. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable the Visual Builder. Once loaded, let's go down to where we want to work. And I guess I'll add it under this module here. I'll just click the little black button to add a new module. Now Divi comes as standard with all these light gray modules. Plenty enough to get you started on just about any website. And the dark blue modules here are the ones you get with Divi Supreme modules. And there's about 40 of them included. Okay, so let's find our Supreme buttons. There we go. Supreme button, I'm going to click on that. And let's put in some text for our, I'll move this so we can see, put in some text for our first button. And for button two. Okay, let's link these buttons to something. Now you've got all kind of choices. You can just use it as a regular button, put a URL link in there. You can put a phone number in there, SMS message, Facebook messenger, Skype, WhatsApp. I'm going to use an email for this, so I'm going to hit the email. And we have to put in where the email is going to in here. So we'll put me at myemail.com for somewhere that the, that the message is going to be delivered to. I don't want a carbon copy or blind carbon copy anybody. You can do if you want to, obviously. Subject is more info on product and the message something like that. Okay, and we'll have the it open in the same window. We can use a tool tip. know how to spell more wouldn't you an email um, you can show an arrow on it or not I don't particularly want an, uh, one on mine size regulars fine placement this is for the, the tool tip well, I guess we will use an arrow you see it's on top there you can have it on top I think we'll put it on the bottom there we go great and fades fine you can have different sort of fading directions but I'm just going to leave mine on fade don't we need a separator let's go over to our design alignment let's put these buttons over on the right hand side now at the moment I've not got them opening any light box or anything so let's do button one first, use custom styles. And we'll make this button blue. Actually, that's the text color. Let's make the actual background blue. We'll hit the little arrow so we can have a different color on hover. And on hover, we'll make it green. That's fine. Don't want to do too much to this. Don't want the icon. A little bit of text shadow in there. A bit of box shadow on the bottom. Let's get rid of that little white border that's going around there. Border width, we'll just take that down to zero. That'll get rid of the border. Fine. 
Now let's go up and do button two. We'll close up button one. Button two. Use custom styles. Let's make this one red. Well, let's make it keep the text white, I guess. Make the button red. And on hover, make it purple on hover. That's fine too. And we'll just give it, make sure we've got no border on there again, unless you want to make your border a different color or the same color. And we'll turn the icon off and give it a bit of box shadow. Great. Now, what do we want this button to do? I want them to click on this and a video to pop out. Let's go back to our content, to our links and do button two. I'm going to leave it on URL and put a video URL link in. So I'm going to go to YouTube, find a URL link, copy the video link, and just pop him in there. And we want him to open in the same window, but I want to open the video in a light box. And a light box is where it pops out, makes the background dark, sort of focuses on it. And again, we can use a tooltip if you want to. And it should have a tool tip now. And again, we'll put this on the bottom like the other one. Great. And the only other thing I think I'll do is just slow the transition time on when you hover over it. I'll slow that down. So I'm going to go to advanced. I'm going to go to transitions. And I'm going to make the duration perhaps a second. Maybe a little too slow. Let's save that and see what we got. Save the draft and exit the visual builder. Okay, well here's our two buttons. There's our little tool tip. Email us for more info. Watch the product video and you can see the change of colors taking about a second there. So let's click on this one. It should pop out with your mail client. There it is. And I need more info because what we put in there and it's going to send it to me at my email .com. They can put in whatever subject and message they want here. But that's a cool little pop out on the same page. Do I want to save my changes? And let's watch the video. And there we have it. I put a simple YouTube video URL in there and it's popped it down into a nice little light box here. Hi guys and welcome to another day very tutorial. good so there you go these buttons are great you can do absolute do absolutely amazing things with them link them to all kind of different things videos and contact forms as well as regular urls so that's great i've been using uh, divi supreme modules plugin again today so i hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful if you have please ring the bell give it a thumbs up comment share and subscribe to our youtube channel once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.